いいね。While I didn't initially know what to expect from Journey to the Savage Planet, its exploration and upgrades quickly grew on me as I discovered more about what it has to offer. Yes, Journey to the Savage Planet is a bona fide exploration game through and through. With the new Hop Garbage DLC, the hope was to expand on existing mechanics that made this adventure so good in the first place. But instead, Hot Garbage seems to be its own adventure. But we put stuff on it, so now it's ours. You should go home. Hot Garbage adds a new area named Planet DLC1 accessible from the teleporter. From there, players are introduced to a beachfront world that is being taken over by Viper Industries. Players have to figure out why Viper is trespassing on a Kinderbot planet, dumping toxic waste all over the otherwise beautiful tropical world. The story of Hot Garbage is relatively light, with much of the narrative focusing on stopping a faceless corporation while a humorous yet rude AI barks at you until the final boss fight. As a campaign that can be completed in a few hours, the main appeal is the additional exploring players can do. From finding the holographic postcards to hacking Viper equipment, this DLC is for players that enjoy Typhoon Studios' clever level designs and the sense of discovery from the base game. That's pretty much the new elements from Hot Garbage that players can expect. Basic enemies are glorified palette swaps from the base game, just with an island theme to match. Like with the well-known Puffer Bird, changed to look like a toucan, yet moves and functions the same. Though the new robot enemies that patrol the Viper facilities are fun to fight, as they change the way players need to defeat them with each encounter. This has players utilize the different fruits and plants that can be collected throughout the game. Some robots weak points can only be shown by being hit by either a bomb, acid, or lightning plants. That makes for the most dynamic battles in the title. When not in battle, players can find new ways to travel throughout the new island. Purple gas rings are spread throughout the map and can boost a jetpack's fuel to fly further distances as long as players can keep passing through the loops. Unfortunately, I found this feature to be a bit frustrating as the jetpack loses momentum and height very quickly, making it hard to recover and just causing you to fall. While it was convenient to use a nearby teleporter to try again, it was disappointing given how much more fun and forgiving it is to use the photon tether compared to jetpack booster rings. The other new upgrades in Hot Garbage are the Toxic to Shocker, which players get by playing the campaign in order to pass the toxic gas cover in some areas, as well as the underwater boots, which are optional and used to get the secondary objectives in the ocean. Upgrades don't add much to the gameplay other than accessing areas players didn't get to before and are only usable on the tropical planet, not the different areas from the base game. This is disappointing given that upgrades usually give players a reason to backtrack through the old sections and collect more elements and upgrades. As for the planet the DLC is based on, the tropical theme is full of floor and fauna, but it doesn't match the base game's environment. You see, Journey to the Savage Planet has an otherworldly look that is paired with a sci-fi Saturday morning cartoon, making the beachfront island a dull setting that kind of deviates from the base game. Given hot garbage story and themes, I could give it a pass as the graphics and animation are still a joy to look at. As far as downloadable content goes, Journey to the Savage Planet's gameplay could have benefited from Hot Garbage additions if it wasn't made to be in a separate experience. Mechanics like boosted jetpacks and underwater boots would have been a great use on the planet of ARY26. Instead, Planet DLC1 is a self-contained add-on that provides new equipment along with new ways to use old abilities. With its low cost of entry, the value of extending some good gameplay is always a solid choice. Noisy Pixel is giving Journey to the Savage Planet Hot Garbage a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Noisy Pixel is ran by a group of gamers who work hard to give you news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe here on our YouTube to keep up with all of our latest videos.